Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to address an issue we get once in a while where people are wondering if the software on Major Geeks is safe. We want to show you how we protect you. If you're on the front page of Major Geeks, you're just looking for the license status. Freeware, freeware, shareware, open source. Now, freeware is just what it is. It's a free program. That's it. Free. No catches, no strings. Open source is actually a slightly better version of freeware in that it is also freeware, but the source code is available. So if you're a programmer, you could write your own version of it based off of that code and redistribute it. It's free and open source. So uh, you'll also see every here and there, ad supported. That is a very, very vague area. We'll talk about that in just a second. And you will also see here and there, you'll see freemium. I've got a couple of these things ready to go to show you how they work. So basically freemium means that the program is free, but you can purchase an upgrade to a professional version, which usually comes with extra features. A lot of times it's support, automatic updates, and sometimes it's more. So once again, it gets a little vague. So you can see freemium right here from the core FTP LE. Now, Driver Magician is a good example. It's ad supported. So if you see something ad supported, you can also click here and you can get a description of what it is, as well as some information on avoiding this stuff and how we test for software. So it's just a little something, something you can look for while you're out there. So let's give you a, a good example. I'm going to download this one, show you the differences between them. I think I already did download. Yeah, I did. So Driver Magician Lite is actually not too bad in that. See how it's already flagged as bad. But that could scare you, but we did test it. Click yes. And as you can see, the only thing this does is kind of a shame it's been flagged as ad supported is ask for your email address. However, you can uncheck this, hit next, next, and install it. And as you can see, that was it. There is nothing additional. There's a program. There's no advertising. Uh, ad supported could mean that it runs an ad as well as install pups, which you've heard about potentially unwanted programs. Let's take a look at those. CD Burner XP, which I actually use on my machine. It's worth the hassle, but on this end of the spectrum, he's kind of the good guys, and I'll show you why. Here it is. So when you get something that's marked ad supported, go slow. He wants you to either install a vast free or say no. And this allows the developer to make money, and it's not as popular as it was a couple years ago. So I click no thank you, hit next, go through my settings, languages, just take your time and skim it, and you can launch it when you're done. So some of these guys are a little sneakier than he is. He did a nice job. You kind of have to choose it. Some of them gray it out so you don't see it, and that's how they slip it by you. But just to show you, now that we've installed those two programs and we were careful and paying attention, we can go to apps and features, list by install date, and as you can see, we didn't install anything additional, just the two programs that we just installed. So that's it. That's how you look for the status of anything on Major Geek. So as you can see, it says it here, but when you get to the page, you can also find it right here under license. So look for that. And as you may have noticed, I don't know if you, if I pointed this out, so hopefully I'm not repeating myself. Anything that's ad supported, I did cover it. Not only can you click ad supported, I don't know if I mentioned, it's we intentionally did it in bright red, the brightest red we could find. We want your eye to draw to that. We want you to be aware it, it's there. So we shoot for four star apps. If somebody adds a pup or puts ads in there, it's kind of just been our policy. If it's a really good program like Burnaware, we're gonna list it. So, and just so that you know, people are in a hurry to scroll, click, 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 click. As you can see here in the last few years, we don't copy too many text from the author anymore. We tend to write everything. So don't be in a hurry to just grab it, but take note that we wrote this. We've covered the good, we've covered the bad, what we thought about it. Uh, we've been doing software for 25 years and installing it for a living. So feel free to browse through that and look for the pros, look for the cons, and what we really thought about it. You'll also notice that we tend to mark software so you know we tested it. This is a great example here because that's my motorcycle. And there's our little logo kind of out of the way, hopefully a little hidden, but just so that you know that this is not a stock screenshot from the author. This is us running it inside a virtual machine, which we're actually doing this video in. So not too complicated. We just want you to be aware of what you're downloading and what the statuses are. That's why we put the license up there so you know 
what you're dealing with. Freeware, open source is the best. Shareware, there's nothing wrong with it. A good program is always worth a few bucks. Freemium, free with upgrades. And of course, ad supported may have pups or ads in it. And that is the breakdown. So I hope it helps you get through any questions you have about downloading and gives you a little peace of mind as to how we add things. If you have a minute, click subscribe. It'd be awesome. And as always, we thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.